When you're faced with a monumental decision, the best thing to do is the right thing. The next best thing to do is the wrong thing. But the worst thing to do is to do nothing. And mm -hmm. so I maxed out my credit cards, got a booth at a trade show, um, literally bought a tent from Walmart with sidewalls held together with duct tape and zip ties. I had cardboard signs. I had a bunch of my firefighter brothers helping me. Um, we booked a hundred thousand bucks in three days. We no were like one of the busiest booths in the show. The problem was, is I had no money left. I had no manufacturing capability because I was doing it literally out of my garage and at my friend's place. Um, I had no way to process those orders and, and people start saying, well, Zach, you've got to start returning orders and you got to stop doing this. You know, this is getting to the point where it's almost illegal. And I remember that drill instructor yelling at me when I was a young Marine at Paris Island saying that mission accomplishment, no matter what you do, you accomplish the mission. You can build the boat when you're on the water. You don't have to wait till the boat's perfect. And I turned around and told them all, in other words, that I probably shouldn't repeat on your podcast, but I'm going to figure this out. And over the next mm -hmm. couple of years, I raised several million dollars in venture capital financing, grew my team and grew it into about a 30, 40 million dollar company over the next couple of years. So that's kind of my my journey, my story that gets me to where I am now that that ultimately got into the book of Warrior Entrepreneur, which was my story, your story and the story of all warriors and what they have in common with with entrepreneurship. 